Well, W. Murner is a truly outstanding graduate of this university, someone who lives up to our highest expectations and uh, is now a worldwide uh, scientist of enormous respect by many, many in the community. W. E. Murner is a professor and chair of the Department of Chemistry at Stanford University. As a Langstorff scholar, he earned three bachelor's degrees from Washington University in St. Louis in 1975. By being the first to perform optical detection and spectroscopy of a single molecule in condensed matter, Murner created a new field of science, single molecule spectroscopy and imaging. For the entire history of chemistry, and for that matter most of physics, we've had to deal with collections or ensembles of atoms and molecules. And we can infer things about the behavior of the individual atom or molecule from that ensemble, that collection. But everyone has always wanted to look at the individual molecule. Never was that even thought to be possible until the work of W.E. Murner. And what he showed was that it was possible to actually study in individual entities the, the specific molecules that play a role in the chemistry and the physics and the biology of our world. In our daily lives, uh, we happen to be made of a lot of cells, for example. And in each cell, there are uh, many copies of certain enzymes, let's say, that are doing their functions or other little protein machines that are doing their function. And if you only measure an average over all of them, you don't see their individual behavior. So today we're using these ideas to uh, watch individual enzymes working and individual structures uh, inside cells. That's something that couldn't be observed before and it lets us see behaviors that couldn't be detected before. Murner has won many awards for his research, including the Irving Langmuir Prize in Chemical Physics and the Wolf Prize in Chemistry. A member of the National Academy of Sciences, Murner holds 10 United States patents and has others pending. He has published more than 300 papers in scholarly journals. One thing that's exciting about chemistry is that it's a science that is uh, in between and several other sciences, for example, uh, biology and physics, but in, in addition, engineering. Uh, is related to many aspects of, of what, what we currently do in our research group. I think back today and say someone who majored in electrical engineering, in physics, and in mathematics, and who now holds a chaired professorship in chemistry and is chairman of one of the most prestigious chemistry departments in our entire nation, Stanford University. It's an interesting combination indeed. I regard myself as a continuing perpetual student. I love learning new areas of science. I really enjoy tremendously the unity of science.